Hi, I'm going to give you a short introduction to the Word template that is available for writing your PhD thesis at Albo University. The first thing you'll notice is that the Word document has been separated into different sections and also these sections as has actually been different are also divided into different sections. We do that in order to change various things that is not the same in the various sections. So if you have this first section, you have the front page, the title page, and these pages has no page numbers. Then there is a section where you have your uh, CV, uh, the English summary, the Danish summary, uh, the acknowledgement, table of contents, and p table of figures. These pages has page numbers with no, uh, Roman numeral. Then you have, uh, what do you say, the main part of the uh, thesis, the thesis text, and here you have uh, ordinary uh, page numbers running from uh, one and upwards. Then you have the the last, the appendixes, uh, the table of content, and uh, so on. And these has page numbers with the decimal system, uh, like the thesis text, but with an APP prefix uh, before the page number. So these are different sections, so you must be aware when you copy-paste text uh, to the uh, Word document that you download from us, you must be pay attention to where you copy-paste your text in, so you don't copy-paste your thesis text into the first uh, part where you have the CV and so on, then you have Roman numerals uh, instead of uh, the ordinary numbers. Uh, and also do, do not uh, try to uh, copy paste into the appendices uh, section of the document then you have APP prefixed on all your pages. Uh, we use different heading styles uh, which you will see in the style palette uh, if you choose to show that in Word. We have uh, a lot of headings. We've got one that's called Heading 1, not counting, excluding in Table of Contents. That is the heading style that you use on introduction pages, summaries, and so on. What it means not counting is that it doesn't have a prefixed uh, number uh, like we uh, use later on with uh, chapter numbering, and it is excluded from the Table of Content, which means that all the pages with the uh, acknowledgments and all that, you can use this heading and they will not be part of the uh, table of content that will actually also be placed after uh, these uh, chapters in your thesis. Then you have heading 1, 2 and so forward and these are prefixed with a chapter number so it says chapter 1 and heading 2 says uh, 1.1 if it's uh, the first uh, heading 2 in chapter 1 and so forth. Then we have uh, Heading 1, not counted, but included in the table of contents. So this will not have uh, the chapter number prefixed. Uh, and it will be included, however, in the table of content. Uh, so this can be used, for for instance, for the literature list, with, with this, which is not a chapter, but you would like to have it included in the table of content anyway. Then we have uh, made a small uh, hack or fix with Word. So we have uh, heading 6 and heading 7 which are the appendixes header uh, and these are prefixed uh, with I've called it letter numbering so it says A, B and C and, and so forth. This allows us to make two different table of contents, one for the thesis content and one for the appendices. Now the headers that is available, and these are not uh, hitting styles, but the, the top and also the bottom of the page. Uh, we have the first page of the section, there is no header. Then we have an at the art pages in the section, it displays the text and numbering from the header one style. So if you have applied the right style, it should say your chapter number and the chapter uh, title in the header of each art page in a section. In the even page of a section we have the uh, we display the title of the project and this comes from the document properties which you can find. Uh, 
and you can also edit it straight at the page and it will go directly into the properties of a document as well. Now you should be aware if you make changes to head and footers, uh, Word has a uh, option that we use and is used uh, per default that says link to previous. So if you make a change to a given header or footer, you should be aware that that might also cause uh, changes back and forward in the document if these are linked. So be aware that if you are going to change something you should remove the link to previous otherwise you might uh, be changing headers or footers uh, for other parts of the document that you do not intend to change. Uh, Word uses a number of ways to create new pages. Uh, the One of those that we recommend is to use uh, a section break instead of a ordinary page break. Uh, a section break allows you to uh, state to Word that you would like this chapter to start on an odd page no matter how many pages are before that. You should be aware that uh, the if you choose this option and there should be an empty page before Word will not show that empty page as you scroll in your document. Then you need to go into, uh, for instance, print preview to see how many empty pages are in your document uh, if you use this feature. But that is a very good feature because it allows you to uh, change your text without having to deal with if you should have an empty page or not in order to have a new tab to start on an odd page. There is this small paragraph sign that you can turn on in in Word that allows you to see uh, whether there is a page break, a section break, or uh, whatever kind of uh, formatting is applied uh, to your text. Uh, 